prior to working with our universal robots, I had basic understanding of logic flow and programming, but very little direct experience with robot programming. Our first deployment, once it worked, it was a beautiful thing. The problem for us became trying to think of the next time we'd go set it up and all of the points that we would need to reteach. And we needed to be accurate within a millimeter of our workpiece, um, which seemed like a difficult thing to control. By using a flex reference, we're able to achieve that repeatability from the second setup, the third setup, the fourth setup, just to the exact same precision that we had in our first. The Flex Reference is a UR Plus tool. There's a mechanical lockout mechanism that you lock it into place. You save that into Polyscope with a few buttons on the toolbar, and then your program has a relative offset. Everything underneath that Flex Reference node will be updated relative to that point. So when you save that point in space, it saves in Polyscope, and then everything underneath that is updated relative. This allows uh, any type of you know, skill level to be able to essentially execute a redeployment. That can be a reduction in time of two hours to no more than two minutes. So one of the real world issues that you face is not just the setup of the robot and the redeployment, but was the somebody nudged the robot. And it's very slightly out of position, but it messes everything up. So one of the benefits of the Flex Reference is it allows us to reteach that one position that may be causing all other positions to be out of place. By spending two minutes to reteach, everything falls back in line. In the past with industrial robots, they were never set up to be redeployed, so there was never any solution to easily take a robot and redeploy it. Some of our customers, they've done pinning to the floor, of pinning to machines, um, they've done it programmatically by updating feature coordinates, or even uh, vision systems by uh, taking a picture of a landmark. So the Flex Reference, this was the only solution that was easy to use, basically off the shelf and plug and play out of the box. In talking with IP Technologies, they really helped us identify opportunities for enhancing our universal robot. The other two aspects came from Robotique uh, with a wrist camera and with grippers. For one of the more complicated palletizing operations, uh, the parts as they come out of our tool require a specific orientation. And so by developing some trays with some target locations, we're able to distinguish and control that orientation by using the wrist camera that help identify the location and then place them in the working area for loading. The entire program works through the Universal Robots programming interface as well as some integrated inputs and output signals. The installation of all of these components, the software shows up on a flash drive, the installation is in a UR cap which is basically a self-installing program that is removes all of the technical details of, of making the technology work. It's so easy.